Dragons coach Anthony Griffin is safe, at least for now. The club's sticking by Griffin after a board meeting today, but results over the next month will have a big impact on his future with the Red V. Two hidings in the past two weeks. Now the blowtorch is on Anthony Griffin. So does he deserve to be under pressure after those two losses? I don't think so. He's not the one out on the field, is he? You know, we were in the eight two weeks ago and now we're out, so um, the knives are out, which is what usually happens in this game. You know, it's a bit like Women's Weekly. Moses Embi wasn't so clear-cut. You know, I'm not going to stand here and sort of either throw fuel on the fire or tell everyone why he's so good or why he's bad. It's, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what I say. It's, we're going to be judged on how we turn up on Friday night. There are reports there's a group of favourites at the Dragons and some players are fed up. Is there unrest amongst this playing group? <laughs> not that I can see. It's, uh, it's a bit laughable, to be honest. I'm just filthy I'm not on the list, actually, the favourite list, to be honest. I'm from Queensland too. There were even suggestions that Josh Maguire has been nicknamed the selector because of his influence on the coach. I'm probably going to cop now for the next two weeks off the lads, but that's it, you know, like, odds are first I've ever heard a lot, like I said, I've had some nicknames, but um, that one's a new one to me, so it's no secret my good relationship with Hook, you know, he's done a lot for me in my career and helped me out, so if that's perceived a certain way, I don't know, I couldn't tell you, but I don't get to choose what we're having for dinner tonight, so getting to choose how the team plays on the weekend is, is far from the truth. And the Dragons have given George Burgess personal leave after he checked into rehab. Emma Lawrence, Nine News. Brad Arthur says he has no plans to leave Parramatta. Despite revelations, he's been shopped to another club. The coach is contracted for the next two years, but hopes to be leading the Eels much longer than that. The Eels escaped to the Central Coast for a mid-season camp, but Brad Arthur couldn't duck and weave questions about his future. It's been the same. I think it's nine years into my job every year at some stage. It's... There's a question mark around whether I'm the coach moving forwards. Nine News first revealed Arthur had been shopped to another Sydney-based NRL club by his own management. Um, you, you want to stay here long term? Have I ever not been committed to the club? Are you going to leave? No. Nah, I've got no reasons to leave. Yeah, look, he's contracted until 2024, so... Uh, we're expecting him here to be, to be here. Despite three straight semi-final finishes since 2019, critics continue to circle. What's fair in our game is how many coaches have been sacked and there's other coaches' jobs that are on the line at the moment. So, you, you know, we've been told and it was only two, two or three weeks ago I was getting sacked. So, but now today I'm going somewhere else. The coach knows guiding the club to its first premiership since 1986 is the best way to silence his doubters. This is our best opportunity that I've had since I've been here. Um, but does not mean it's shutting? I don't believe so. We're in a better position than we are right now than we were this time last year. Um, we still haven't played our best footy. So our best footy is ahead of us, but there's no reason why we can't. There's no excuse. Arthur conceding his future as Parramatta coach will continue to be questioned if their title drought extends beyond 36 years. Everything comes to an end at some stage. I just don't want that to be at the moment or real soon. Zach Bailey, Nine News. Well, it was a Blues team full of Penrith players, but Ivan Cleary expects the origin heartache to reignite not derail his side's premiership defence. The Panthers welcome back all seven of their New South Wales stars this weekend, refreshed from a week off following the decide. What we're hoping for is that, you know, it just fuels the fire in those boys. Um, obviously, the Origin Series is gone this year. Um, yeah, uh, that's exactly how, you know, what I thought watching that game is, yeah, the, the experience will, be, will only help them. Penrith plays third place Cronulla on Saturday, who've lost Sione Katoa with a season-ending peck injury.